Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Lucifer. We're at season 1 episode 13 and it's the last episode of season 1. Pretty exciting y'all. Um, it's been such a fun show to discover and I'm so thankful to you Natalia. Thank you so much. Well without waiting any longer let's just jump into the finale of season 1 of Lucifer. Let's go. Oh yeah, Lucifer was. Uh, oh, we're starting on, right back where detective. we left off. You can't seriously Noise. believe I killed that pathetic malcontent. Doesn't matter what I believe. That's all that matters, detective. Yes. Put your hands in the air and surrender yourself. Don't shoot him. He's unarmed. Oh, you don't know that. Maybe I have a gun. Hands in the air. Get away. <laughs> Search the area. What do you mean? I have gotten far. Mm. He evaporated. You didn't see him run anywhere? Oh, a minute deal. Thanks. Can we not tell anyone you just carried me in your arms like a baby? <laughs> trying to accomplish you there? There's no reason for me to stay anymore. Oh, because Chloe. You win. I'll go willingly, please. Just. Take me back to hell. No. He's the culprit. Hey, what happened to Lucifer? Lucifer's prints are going to be on that gun. You don't know that. I do. And I also know you're right. Lucifer's innocent. He's being framed. What? Tell her. Has to talk. Yes. I'm somewhere else. Come clean, Dan. Thank you. You don't want to take me back to hell. Lucy, what is your problem? Oh, good question, Doctor. Well, you see, the thing is that my brother's been trying to kill me and now he wants to work with me, but we can't seem to get along, mainly because he's an egotistical twit. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Kanan. I didn't realize that you were in session with a Lucifer? Oh, I can't believe this. You're stealing my patience. Oh, my um, God. Not exactly. I don't even know you. You shot a man in cold blood. I shot Malcolm to protect you. Everything I saw at Palmetto, it was all true. You let them think I was crazy. Never intended. You let me think I was crazy. I'm sorry. You don't get to be sorry. If I could take it all back, I would. You can't take it back. Lucifer thinks I abandoned him. We need to find him. Oh, yes. I love that it's like her first so your, your priority, friends. you know? Lucy, you're arrogant. You're selfish. Oh. All you do is think of your penis. Oh, which of course you would never do, would you? How's Mays, by the way? Dr. Martin, will you please tell him to shut up and just listen to reason? Oh, <laughs> by reason, you mean a deceptive load of bull- Enough! <laughs> to unclinging to these ridiculous metaphors. Heaven, hell, angels, devils. Actually, they're yeah. not. Trust me, you don't want to pick that up. Mm. Hmm. You claimed you came to LA to reinvent yourself. I love Yet this. every time I yeah, hold, hold on, you're right. I did come to LA to start a new life, didn't I? And now Malcolm's on the run. He's gonna need to start a new life too. No, see, you're doing it. New ID, bank account, passport. I know just the person to go to. <sighs> Damn, you're good. Yep. <laughs> yep. Because I hate when people get away with things they shouldn't. And you like to shoot people. Huh. And to think I almost killed you in your sleep that one time. <laughs> what? Nothing. <gasps> oh, hey. Now I know why he likes working with you. Please tell me he's not with you. He's not. What the fuck? Sorry, I thought you were my husband. Lord, why do you have any idea where he might have gone? He said he was gonna go get a beer. Excuse me. Okay. No. Oh. Don't move or wobbly head gets sick. How'd you get in here? There's a manhunt for you. And this is the last place you'd look, isn't it? I thought it was quite clever. Oh! You need to get mm. the hell out of here. So come on, what do you want to do, Daniel? I want to redeem myself. Oh, and taking down Malcolm would do that, wouldn't it? So where is he? Come on, you can tell us. Like you said, we're surrounded by police. There's an old brewery on 3rd. Mm-hmm. 
A drug dealer named Tommy Campolongo works out of there. <sighs> Not that complicated after all. You two made a huge mistake walking in here. I just didn't... What do you say we skipped the time slowing shenanigans? Hmm? What about your mortality situation? It was kind of a non-sitch when the detectives got around. Mortality. I'll explain later, but for now, we'll just yeah, enjoy the moment. That's it, warn you. This is hardly a fair fight. <laughs> Cool. You don't usually get like fight scenes like that from them. Sorry, bro, genuine mistake. <laughs> <sighs> to think we wasted all that millennia fighting each other, right? We still need to find Malcolm. Absolutely. Oh. Malcolm is kind of like a little cockroach, you know? He always makes makes his way, like, you think he's gonna get caught, and then he's just like, Hi! In the elevator, and like, multiple other occasions. <gasps> no, not the knife! I mean, wow. Fuck. Hey, what part of no hogging don't you understand? With a blade, not of this world, mate. None of mine. Yes. Mine. With pleasure. Oh my god. Malcolm is gonna fucking get it. Malcolm, freeze! Shoot his ass. Stop. Shoot him in the leg. Come on. I'm not here to arrest you, Lucifer. I know you're innocent. I always have. So let's catch this bastard together and put an end to all this. I uh, don't like this. He's still out oh, there. Look at us, reunited, and it feels so good. If we fix your reputation, we'll preserve everything we've done. You want to keep working with me. And to do that, you need to trust me. Oh, shut up and let me help you. She can undo it, because it's hers. There's nothing that you can do. One of his feathers, or I that from Lucifer. I kept it a secret. Oh no, that's Lucifer. True, so I remember. I back home. I remember. Oh. Hey, honey. Everything okay? Oh, Decker. No. Malcolm. How is the precinct? Hey, mommy. Was he oh I guess he's a cop right but still like don't just give okay, honey, a kid to here. anyone everything all right detective yeah of course I'll be back right get away from your vehicle what put your hand in the air the block the water be peacefully we will have no choice but to shoot you with our new bazooka We've actually been waiting for the rest of you, so on second thought, please speed away. What are you doing? With our new bazooka. Malcolm has Trixie. Yeah. Uh -oh. so if I get him his money, he'll let her go. Right. Fuck, look. Mommy, can we go home now? Trixie! Yes, monkey. We can. Glad to see you came alone. Now, toss the gun. Mmm. And play a game, all right? I need you to hide until I can come find you. Call me, I don't want to play a game. I know you don't, but I need you to go hide. Daring me, Malcolm. Pathetic. Hey, Lucifer. Hey, buddy. Long time no frame. <laughs> don't stick too well there. Long time no frame. What do you yearn for in that rotten soul of yours? Hey, 
You've been given a second chance. Now, then was killing Detective Decker really what you want to do with it? I think I must be. Almost. Sending Decker along right behind you. But if you're up there, Dad, I need a favor. Go where you want me to. In exchange, all I ask. Chloe, would you be okay? Opportunity whilst you were incapacitated. I think he wants me to bring our jail bird back. Yes, sir. Who could possibly scare you, brother? Lucifer. Who escaped hell? Maze. Mum. <gasps> Mum? Mythology, I don't know who is it Lilith? Cause in Supernatural they were dealing with Lilith at some point and she was like the this big um thing, right? I don't know, it's the only name that comes to my mind is Lilith because it's the only one I've ever seen like in another show and she was uh, a demon or I don't know exactly what she was but she was like the big the big gun and she was coming um, after the brothers in Supernatural and they were scared of her because she was really really powerful so at the same time like he said mom but his dad is God right so the mom wouldn't she be like an angel she was in hell the mom was in hell? Okay, let's just start with the episode. That was excellent. I am so happy that Malcolm is finally dead. This fucking bitch of a man. But he was like, we have to give credit to the actor. He is phenomenal for playing like douchebags. Because like I said, I've seen him first in like, one episode of Buffy and he was he was memorable enough for me to be like oh well I, I guess I, I I've been watching Buffy like a million times but you know he, even in that single episode he's very very 
unlikable and he's like this fucking misogynistic douchebag and he's just really good at portraying this energy you know and he's been doing a great job at playing Malcolm ever since this uh, show started he's been really really good and he's been so unlikable that his death is just like yeah just just fucking die <laughs> you know it's not even like um you know sometimes you know someone's bad but they're doing it for like right reasons kind of like reasons that you can kind of see their point of view but then you're still like sorry but like you can't do that for him it was just like die i no 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 you are a piece of garbage just die like i said during the episode um when chloe realized that she she fucked up and she you know she kind of like accused lucifer but all signs were pointing towards him and she was with other police officers like she has to do and follow what the clues like point to you know so i wasn't mad at her for being like well lucifer it's kind of like you're the only person here that could have done that but i'm also really really happy that when dan um well he turned himself in i kind of want to see what happens with that but i was happy when he came clean to her it was the right thing to do and it wasn't a selfish act i was scared that maybe he wouldn't do it especially because it would like jeopardize their relationship but he came clean and as soon as chloe got this information it just like confirmed in her head and she was like i gotta find lucifer because he thinks that like i abandoned him and that i'm coming for him so i have to find him and like put the record straight so I really like that they're when they work together it's just like they have great chemistry and you see that they um you see that they really really care for one another and also like when he came for Trixie I was just like dude that's just one thing that you can't do like everything you've been doing you can't do that but coming for the kid threatening to kill Trixie mm 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 also seeing lucifer and aminadil working together yes yes more of that please i think they will work together to find their mom which is so exciting for season two like they're kind of like you know teasing us with what we will be dealing with for season two and i'm so happy that i will be watching one episode a week so i will see this story develop a little faster and um yeah, I'm already so attached to these characters. I think they're amazing and the story just works really well together. And we've seen some some new dynamics this episode, like Amenadil Lucifer. We've seen Maze and Chloe. So Maze can kind of like understand a little bit more what Chloe's about and vice versa. So that was really, really good. So that was season one, episode 13, the finale. The title of the episode was Take Me Back to Hell. So I'll see you guys for the next episode, which will be on the first Thursday of August and then every Thursday after that. So I will see you there and thank you so much for watching.